Hello everyone and welcome back to Mass Effect 3. This is episode 20. Last time we went deep sea diving. We discovered Leviathan, uh, one of many Leviathan, uh, who have then finally agreed to join our side against the Reapers. The original, like the, the blueprint for the Reapers are the Leviathans. And it's a massive discovery and one of my favorite episodes to date that dlc is incredible uh so we're going to be jumping in right away uh to essentially uh check out some some last things here uh like help the elcor on dakuna i also need to check out the Salea nebula again um i'm pretty sure we have the Salea nebula unlocked but maybe we don't uh, which is why we still need to complete the Rings of uh, Elun uh, for someone at the Huerta Memorial Hospital. Uh, so I'm going to quickly check uh, the galaxy map for these things, uh, and then we'll be heading to Thessia for a priority mission, the Asari Homeworld. I am very, very excited to be taking uh, Liara along uh, to that to that mission. So if I take ourselves out to the nebula, uh, we've got the Athena Nebula, locate a secret artifact. So I'm guessing this is Thessia. Uh, locate the secret artifact, because it's the only one that's given us another mission. Uh, Salean Nebula. Let me check and have a look. Because maybe we just haven't unlocked it yet. Oh, Secret's Cradle is at 85%. I thought that was at 100. I must have missed, uh, must have missed something to pick up. Yeah, the Slayer Nebula. Oh, the Slayer Nebula is only at 9%. What? Okay, it must have added a new system or something, because I swear I wouldn't have just left it sitting at 9%. Let's have a look. Oh, wow. I just... Okay, I just never went and checked out these other systems, or these systems have only... have opened up over time, and I just haven't checked it. I, I don't know. Uh, I've got some systems to check out, which is cool. Uh, that will be fuel. Cool. Uh, Yacillium. Minor rock planet. For oral war assets. Yes, a oh, Mali sniper unit. Cool. Well, uh, looks like I've got some systems to explore, some items to recover, and I'll be doubling back to the Citadel to to get those things. Um, this is just a random piece of wreckage. The Asari once had enormous solar collectors around the bluish white AOV uh, A zero V star uh, Laropi. Laropi? Laropi? Using the star's considerable heat to create antiprotons for military starship fuel. Now, all that can be detected is scrap. Reapers emerged from dark space near the Salean Nebula cluster and established a front in Laropi's system. The Asari fleet that guarded what used to be known as Espota Station uh, cannot be found. Uh, it is scattered and destroyed. One can only hope that the backup reactors in the Kiplodon system do not fall, or the Asari fleet will have pr precious little fuel. All right, well, I'll grab this fuel, and then I'll get out of here. Uh, oh, God! Oh, did I just get caught? I did. Yeah, I was like, they were right on top of me there. Um, I am going to explore these systems, uh, check them out, because obviously I've got a, a bunch to, to check out. Uh, get those items, head back to the Citadel um, to drop those things off. Just want to make sure we get those little side missions, uh, those assignments out of the way before we do another priority mission. Uh, and, then we'll, uh, and then we'll get right to it. Excuse me. I recovered the rings of a loon. They're waiting in bay D24. That's wonderful. Thank you. My people will treat this miraculous find as a call to support their local hospitals. Cute. Rings of a loon returned. Um, let's go to the embassies for the Elcor, which is, uh, by the way, extremely disappointing because I was like, we're going to Dakuna. We're going to go rescue an Elcor and we're going to see them. We're going to see them fight. We got your people off to Kuna, Ambassador. Utterly sincere. Thank you for your assistance, Commander. This is not a debt we can repay. Were you able to evacuate any civilians? Yes. How many? 
Big Monster. Enough. Oh, sad Elcor. You just scan the planet, dude. You just scan the planet. No, I know what I said. Divert forces to the new coordinates. Trust me. We may not be able to stop the Reapers, but I think we can predict their movements now. So I'm just a bit, I'm just a bit sad that I'm like, we, we got the, almost like the premise of, <gasps> we can go to, we can go to Dakuna, we're going to go to the Elcor homeworld, and uh, it's in, it's in the Salaya Nebula, so I can assume that that, once we got the uh, objective, it opened up some more destinations for us, um, and yeah, just unfortunately, you just scan the planet, I was really wondering if we'd be able to visit, that would have been, that would have been so nice. I recovered the code of the ancients from Dakuna. It's waiting for you in Bay D24. With shock and joy. Really, this is wonderful news. Thank you, human. Sincerely, this will greatly aid our people. Nice. With sincere gratitude. Thank you, human. Wonderful. Okay. It gets shorter and shorter every time. So we currently now have a mission. Uh, I, I might have missed the ciphers. We might still have time to get them. Uh, I, I'm not sure. Uh, in Prime and Omega are stuck in there. So we're, we've we've shortened it down, that's for sure, uh, which is great. Um, so I'm now going to head back to... Can I head back to Normandy from here? Yeah. Head back to the Normandy from here. Uh, I'm going to check our war assets that we've got from investigating the uh, investigating the Salaya Nebula because we've got a bunch of stuff, and then we're heading to Thessia. We're heading to Thessia. I'm so excited. So let's come on around here and let's have a read of our new descriptions. So, dude, we are maxed out. We're maxed out. Seven thousand four hundred and one, and we're not even done yet. Uh, we we did it. We got a we got a full green bar, baby. We did it. Uh, alien. We got we got the Elcor flotilla, uh, which possesses a few cruisers and carriers, but its real value is troop transport. Because of their shape, the Elcor carry shoulder-mounted uh, heavy weapons. Uh, VI run systems handle reloading, targeting, and ammunition selection. It is not unusual to see a troop of Elcor soldiers toting rocket launchers, chain guns, and other intimidating weapons on their backs, as if they weigh nothing at all. And you, you, you dare say that, and you never show me. You don't even think to show me that. You don't, like you wouldn't think that we would all want to see that. I love how uh, we have literally scoured the entire galaxy to pull everyone together, uh, pulling all the, the si different ships together. It really is. Uh, it feels like a well-earned, uh, it feels like a well-earned and believable uh, Rise of Skywalker moment. You know, the end of Episode 9, Rise of Skywalker, uh, which I have numerous, numerous issues with. Um, and it's just like, haha, Poe, here's every single fighter in the whole entire galaxy that I pulled out of my ass. Um, and what's really cool about this is this is so much more believable like we put in the work to like recruit everybody and going around because everything is everything's messed up reapers are here and we desperately need to pull everyone together uh and it's working and we're slowly building that army over time for the final battle and i think that's i think that's really good uh citadel defense force which we've updated um i think it was just the final one right Geth jamming frequencies, schematics, schematics, the Book of Plenix. The Elcor rejoiced when the Code of the Ancients was recovered. With hope restored, they rallied to help move supplies on the Citadel for the war effort. The recovery of the Rings of Elune, named after a revered Asari physician, inspired Asari civilians to volunteer at Citadel refugee clinics and hospitals. Nice. Uh, Alliance Engineering Corps. Prothean, data, Prothean Artifact. Prothean Sphere, the base of Asperia period statue is covered in Prothean writing. Translations have proven useful to engineers working on the Prothean device. Asari Second Fleet, Shepard passed a Reaper code fragment to Asari High Command. An isolated copy will help predict Reaper movements. 
And then uh, Amali's sniper unit is an elite team of Asari commandos who favor long distance engagement. Some of the unit's soldiers have augmented themselves with strength boosting cybernetic implants, allowing them to fire heavier guns like the 39 kilogram M98 Widow anti-material rifle with incredible precision. Apparently that's one that I can buy from the Spectre terminal. Ceres Guard is set out to stop Blood Pack mercenaries attempting to enslave Asari colonies in the Terminus systems. After a ship-to-ship -ship fight, the Commandos and Mercs crash-landed. With no means to contact Thessia, the surviving Asari continued to engage the grounded Blood Pack, whittling down the frustrated slavers with traps, ambushes, and nighttime offensives. After nine days and more than a hundred casualties, the Blood Pack surrendered, and the mercenaries were astonished to learn they had only been battling five Asari Commandos. Although the guard downplayed their heroics, they became instant celebrities upon their return to Thessia. Love that. All right. Dude, maximum strength, 7,401. And we've read, uh, read all of the war assets. And there's probably some, some more to come by completing our main missions, but Thessia time. Long-awaited Asari homeworld. I'm very excited. So let's jump right into the map once again. Once again... And let's see. The Athena Nebula locates secret artifact. Um, where are we headed? Oh, it's this here. Right here. So locate the secret artifact. Let's go. The Asari homeworld has been called the crown jewel of the galaxy, the apex of democracy, and the beating heart of galactic love. I'm pretty sure we've read this already, because we've been in this system already. So, let's land on the planet. It's under heavy reaper attack. There's activity across most of the planet. What about the temple? Can you raise the scientists? Negative. All channels are scrambled across the spectrum. The mission's looking really dicey. This is too important. It's now or never. Shepard, that's my home down there. I have to go. Then get to the shuttle, and let's do this. Get to the shuttle. Let's do this. Well, Liara's coming regardless, so that's cool. Um... I think this would be a really cool opportunity for... for Javik to come along with... Liara. As much as I'd like to bring, as much as I'd like to bring Garrus, I think, considering Liara and Javik tend to have some really interesting banter, and Javik going to the Asari homeworld, um, we're going to bring Javik along. We haven't used Liara in so long, uh, so let's have a look at how that goes. Um, Pilot rifle on that's fine. Liara. I mean, oh, we re we really should have been upgrading the Scorpion. And the arc pistol, shouldn't we? I realized I haven't bought any upgrades for those. It's hard when it's like, it's not a weapon that I'm using directly, so I'm like, eh. <laughs> eh. That's fine. Um, and now, Liara. I'm gonna put some more points and stuff. Freeze duration or squad mates gain cryo ammo. Squad mates gain cryo ammo, please. Uh, Liara, let's max out your warp. Damage to barriers and armor. Recharge speed, let's increase damage. Stasis. Duration by 40%, 150% more damage. Let's increase the duration. Two powers in a row by giving the first power a 30% charge uh, to cause no cooldown or recharge speed by 35%. Let's do that. Stasis bubble to trap enemies that walk into it or increase all damage done to target by 50%. Let's do that. And I'll put points into warp ammo, so Liara gets warp ammo as well. Q. Awesome. I think we're at maximum level now, level 60. So you can actually, like, it's pretty good. Like, this is, the, I think uh, this game has the best... Um, this game has the best stat distribution in your in your points, I think. Mass Effect 2, you had like a, like one or two that couldn't be really be done. So this is this is great. You're able to really maximize our efficiency there. 
Liara, do you have anything more on this artifact? These coordinates the Counselor gave you are for the Temple of Athame. My mother took me there once. It's several thousand years old. And for some reason, it has classified government funding. Sounds like we're on the right trail. What if we're too late? My people are dying down there. Your empathy is a weakness. You must numb yourself to loss. That's like a that's a Kratos that's a Kratos quote. <laughs> you must close your heart to them. Venezia took you to this temple? I was just a child. I thought it was a history lesson, but now maybe there was more to it. What do you mean? I went digging through her old files. She had heavily encrypted records on this place, some dating back centuries. I still can't crack most of them. Whatever's going on, it's well hidden. I've studied your old mission reports. Your mother was indoctrinated. Yes, we had to kill her. Yet it did not stop you from fighting. As I said, steal yourself. Many more lives will be lost. We can't ignore that people are dying. The Reapers may not have mercy, but we do. It is their indifference that gives them power. Then let's show them there's another way. Good. This is just going to be the episode where we just tell Javikov for being insensitive. This can't be happening. My home. There's no time to mourn. We're exposed up here. Let's get down. Feels like there should be music. Like, it feels like there should be music and they're just... There just ain't any. You must be Commander Shepard! Lieutenant! Commander, we heard- <laughs> The barrier's oh, been breached! Commander, we'll talk later! Get on that gun up there and do some damage! The gun over there! Put it to use! Getting right into it, huh? Oh. Do, do, do my squad mates want to help out with like their abilities at all? I want that gunship prepped and in the air. Plug that hole. We're on it. Someone get me a location on our snipers. Yes, ma'am. Commander, I'm Lieutenant Curran. We've been told to expect you. My orders are to hold this grid at all costs. Oh, damn. Shore up the barrier! But our perimeter's collapsing, and I'm getting my people out of here. This is important. We need your help. Well, unless you can give me a good reason to stay, we're not dying for a field of rubble. What exactly were you told about me? Nothing but your name. Mission details were classified, which just means we'll die without knowing why. I know what that's like, but you have to trust the chain of command. We're not even sure the chain still exists. So what are we doing here? We're after a relic inside the temple. It's important. That's what this is all about? One of our outposts has been trying to reach the scientists over there, but we lost contact. Get that gunship moving! Now! I'm sorry, Commander. If your relic has lasted this long, it can wait a little longer. I've lost enough people today. I'm pulling the rest of them out. No! I sense you the lineage of a leader. A warrior's skill and cunning. 
They are strong in your genes. But you've grown tired of war. You're exhausted by defeat. And now you worry you don't have the courage left to go on. By the goddess, are you... Find your resolve. This war can end if you do. We're building a Prothean superweapon. It will win this war. I believe it. This is Lieutenant Curran. Hold your positions. I want a path carved to the temple. Outpost Tychus, we've got people coming your way. Let's make sure the galaxy knows the war was won on Thessia. Make it count. I was here years ago. To see the city burning like this is... It can be rebuilt. Just worry about the next 20 meters. Watch it! This has to end. Draw strength from your anger. It will keep you alive. Remember that, because here they come. Staggered approach. Try to use cover. That was the last one. Then move! Get off the bridge! <clears throat> On that building, we've got fire support! Oh shit. Scatter and take cover! <laughs> Yes, Commander! Got it! Oh! I didn't even, like, feel like my health went down there. You didn't usually do my, like, low health warning, it just... I just got deleted. <laughs> okay. See ya. Because most of the targets are like organics. I think incendiary ammo is going to do the best anyway. Watch the edges! Don't let them get around us! Scatter and take cover! Get moving before more of them come back. Just check the environment, just to make sure. And medkit. Try not to get deleted by a banshee. There's a ramp here, Shepard. Might be our way through. Gotcha. Alright, so I guess the spore pods I don't have to worry about. Oh! Yep, okay, they just explode. I still can't face those things. My own people. When we fought the Reapers, they turned our own children against us. I can't imagine that. They assumed we would hesitate to kill them. Did you? No. What answer would you prefer? <laughs> None. Let's stop talking about this. Yeah, fucking hell. God damn. My people had stopped believing in devils. They changed their minds when the Reapers arrived. Uh. 
Can. Look at me go. Shepard answering a question by just like leaving. She's like, oh. We're not escaping. Dude, look at that. This nightmare never ends. The hell it won't. Wow. We get to this artifact and we can all wake up. 50,000 years later. <laughs> Javik. Thessy is gorgeous. Oh, okay, that's that's awkward. Please reconnect the controller. Sorry guys, technical difficulties. I was never even told that it was low battery. Way to interrupt your cool cutscene. Let me plug that boy in. We're trying to reach outpost Tychus. You're looking at it. What about the rest of your squad? The You're looking at it. We tried punching through to the scientists, but I'm all that's left. What about reinforcements? We had gunships flying support, but things got too hot with that Reaper. They can't chance it. I know it's rough, but I don't see another way in without their help. Have I told you how much I hate this war? Talon Swarm, this is Outpost Tychus. Is there anybody left on this frequency? We are in need of immediate air support. Commander Shepard is here. Copy, this is Talon 1. I'm on the way. Talon wow. Ground targets confirmed. Weapons are hot. Light them up. Turian Reapers, uh, like the Reaper husks for Turians are creepy as hell, those, uh, those marauders. No! The stabilizer blew out. This is Talon 5. Whatever you're gonna do, you better do it now. Go, Commander! I'll cover you from here! Ooh, she's got a venom shotgun, too. Fucking hell. 
we go to war. Maybe the Alliance can spring for air support. <laughs> yeah, I'd say so. I'd say that's fair enough. Move! Now's our chance! Ooh, I could have used that on the Banshee. I didn't even see that. Alright, next time, baby. Why does it have to be the boring enemies that don't even need my missile attack? Get away from me, I'm saving my missile launch for something else. Instantly, I didn't even see. What was that? <laughs> oh no! I'm. Oh my god! Don't you dare! Don't you dare! Quick, get out of there! Fucking, I'm. I'm in a fucking death loop. Who needs? Who needs to buy death loop when I'm? I'm playing it right now. I'm in, stuck in a death loop. Yes. 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 All right, hang on. There's some cover to the right of me. I think I can just quickly do this. Okay. Fucking god damn it. Eat my ass. You mind shooting this thing for me? Because god damn. There Fuck am I supposed to get out of this situation? Of course, Commander. Ah, so guys, what the fuck? I'm trying to shoot the barrier thing. <laughs> Holy fuck, dude. I'm in trouble. My shields just took damage. Talon 5 going You're in trouble. Talon 5 going ah! Talon 5 going ah! My god. Much sacrifice. We have to make it worth something. That was terrible. Stuck in a stuck in a death loop, and then endlessly just barraged by two harvesters. My God. Looks like we're in the clear. Let's get inside. It appears that temple has been barricaded. That ain't no problem for me. That ain't no problem for me. Military-grade encryption. I think I can override it. Do religion and military always mix among Asari? No. This is unusual. Especially since few still follow the Athaim doctrine. Interesting. Wow, this is gorgeous. Do we want to turn the barrier back on behind us? You know, like tactically, that could be like a bit of an advantage in case, you know, harvesters decide to fly in, reaper reinforcements, you know, okay. Nope, Hello? we'll just keep the door open. Is anyone there? Something is wrong. Your scientist should be here. Take a look around. Maybe one of these artifacts is what we're looking for. Could this be the artifact? I don't think so. It's the goddess of the sword. Myths say she wielded it against the jealous gods who threatened our ancestors. They were a race called the Oravoras. Thessia had vast resources. We protected you from them. You protected? But then a fame. There is more to your history than you know, Asari. 
a, such a good idea to bring him along because of the history that he knows about the Asari. I thought this would be. I thought this would be good. That's a same sword, not our artifact. Oh, this is going to be rough for Liara, though. It'd be rough for any Asari that it's like all of their myths and legends and religion and everything that they've believed in over a species for thousands and thousands of years. Javik's just like, yeah, we did that. <laughs> yeah, there ain't no goddess of Thame. Uh, I mean, maybe there was, but uh, we actually protected you. We're your gods. What's this? The goddess of Thame's shield. Legends say she used it to protect Thessia when the heavens grew angry. Our ancestors were probably misinterpreting a meteor shower. It was an asteroid strike. We deflected it. Are you actually suggesting that the Protheans intervened in our past? It's more than a suggestion. I find it strange your scientists would abandon their own planet. They wouldn't. Interesting. Something is fishy here. If there's uh, some sort of military grade encryption blocking the temple and the scientists aren't here... What happened? Also, why did they give the shield boobies? Why did they do it? Was it entirely necessary? <laughs> like, it'll distract our enemies when we charge into battle. Goddess the Thane was like, I want the shield to look just like me. Oh, there's so much around. Here we go. I was looking to see if there was more around the... Uh, this is fucking amazing. Oh, I think I need to be over the other side to actually see this. How about this? A page from one of our earliest religious texts, the Athame Codex. Doesn't look promising. It describes how Athame taught our ancestors mathematics. Protheans did that. You could only count as high as your toes. We took pity. <laughs> I still don't think that's our artifact. I was waiting for Javik to just be like, we taught you maths, actually. Um, I'm assuming one of the big things is going to be what? Oh my fucking god. Dude, it's a Prothean. Except with two two eyes. Look, that's you. Well, not you. Hmm. Doesn't look useful. That's Janiri, a Thames guide who brought enlightenment to Thessia long ago. Oh my god, it's a Prothean. I don't see the resemblance. He was no servant of an imaginary goddess. He was Prothean. Look at that! No, I don't think that's it. I'm actually surprised Liara didn't have a proper response to that. Incredible. Oh, that's cool. That's really neat. So Javik called her an imaginary goddess. What about this one? Another page from the Codex. I doubt this is it. It describes Lucin, a Thames guide who taught our ancestors about the stars. Your species was deemed to have potential. Pity you didn't live up to it. Damn. Could this be the artifact? I don't think so. That's a sculpture of Lucin, one of the Thames servants who walked among my ancestors bestowing knowledge. He was no servant of an imaginary goddess. He was Prothean. I'm almost positive that's just a sculpture. <laughs> uh, it's it's funny because I know that uh, Liara's uh, words is after I'm selecting it again and she's saying that, but I'm always... <laughs> I'm just imagining it as her response to Javik. He was Prothean. No, I'm pretty sure that's a sculpture. <laughs> Another page from the Codex. Not very useful. It talks about a Thames guide granting us the gift of biotics as a reward for worshipping her. That gift involved years of genetic research. I... <sighs> this is almost too much to take. I believe we are missing something. I'm actually, I'm actually shocked at how much Javik is revealing in dialogue and in uh, investigating things that I almost wish that both Javik and Liara were mandatory to bring on this mission. Because Liara's like, I'm coming with you. Javik should also step up and be like, I also want to go to Thessia. Um, because... The amount of information that we're getting here uh, in terms of revelations about Asari culture should not be glossed over. Like, 
Um, it should not be glossed over because anyone who's going to be like, I'm going to bring Garrus, my best boy, which is a trap that I fall into, I would have missed this stuff. And this is like the value of replay uh, replayability in in Mass Effect games is goddamn if it if ain't uh, the dialogue between characters some of the best things ever and the amount of replayability you get to bring different characters on different missions and different dialogue paths and everything like you can just be playing Mass Effect over and over again to get all of the amazing information. What do you know about this? A fragment from the Codex. It's not what we need. It describes how Athame's guide, Janiri, gave my people seeds. He taught them the season so they could grow crops. We didn't want you to starve. So, um... Athame was apparently an imaginary goddess, but there was uh, two Protheans who basically guided and cultivated the Asari in their early stages. Oh my god, and... <laughs> So if I even if I didn't bring Javik, right? Even if I didn't bring Javik, I think you would be able to piece two and two together. He he straight up confirms this stuff for you. But like, as soon as I saw the bust, I was like, that's a Prothean. So Liara being able to say, oh, this is this, the guide that helped do this, we would be able to like put two and two together by me seeing those busts and going, that's a Prothean guide. The Protheans helped you. You know what I mean? These are the scientists. Jesus, what happened to you? But look at that. This is like... I love how it's like uh, ancient Egyptian stone tablets in a sense that, you know, even even humanity, even our own species, uh, you know, when we have our uh, Egyptian gods that are like Ra and like they were bird people and Anubis, the, the god of the, the god of the underworld, um, you know, and like uh, they had animal heads. Guys... It's the same kind of stuff. Crocodiles and uh, dogs and birds. They're all aliens that came to this planet to help us build the pyramids. Confirmed. <laughs> now, nah, but like, it's all like, it, it plays into the whole like uh, humanity being like, did aliens help us build the pyramids? You know, type of, type of stuff. Aliens. What are we looking at here? A primitive rendition of the goddess of Thame. She's speaking to her ancient Azari followers. I don't think this is the artifact. Another one of your myths that somehow looks Prothean. What you're implying, it's staggering. We were here in the beginning, watching you grow. A theme was us. Yeah, so there you go. So it was like, when they said that's a rendition of a theme, I'm like, mm -hmm. I don't know about that. That's amazing. Before we check the middle, we'll check this as well. It's the goddess of theme again. You can still believe that. But it won't change the truth. Yeah. Alright, our scientists are here. Let's have a look at this. Their throats. What happened to them? They've been slit. The Reapers didn't do this. We're going to have to figure this out on our own. Who's that supposed to be? It's a Thame. Her image became more like ours over time. You mean your ancestors tried to hide the truth? I'm still not willing to believe any of that's real. Then why does a Thame speak Prothean? What do you mean? There is something here. I can sense it. In this temple? I admit it is strange this place has been so well preserved. Though a Thame does have great historical significance, we once believed our gods were separate from the world, looking down on us. But now, Asari is everything as our cosmic whole. There is a universal energy. Ah! There's a Prothean beacon here. What? You're sure? It's not something you forget. But why hide it? The answer is obvious. Power and influence. Your people are holding the knowledge of my race for their own gain. That can't be. I can't believe my people would keep this a secret. Holy fuck. That's a conspiracy. That's a conspiracy. Blown up. 
So we were getting to a point where uh, these scientists were maybe going to like reveal information or share this stuff about Asari and the uh, the military uh, uh, side of Asari have come in and just silenced them. And you go, not can't reveal our secrets. I love that Shepard has the lasting effects of the beacon enough to know what it feels like and can sense its presence. That's amazing. She's got the force. Also, oh my god, I just love that literally, um, like, Liara just keeps saying, like, the obvious is like, oh yeah, the image changed over time to, uh, you know, and it's just like, yes, that's because it's all a lie. A beacon like this could explain why Asari are so advanced. This temple is thousands of years old. Time enough to make serious progress. That doesn't make it true. You can't keep denying reality, Asari. Even a small amount of data would give your species an edge. Or are you insulted that your government didn't involve you? True, considering how much of her life Liara is dedicated to this, and there was a uh, Prothean beacon on her homeworld the whole time. Oh, I, oh, both of these statements are true. The Mars ruins are where humanity got Mass Effect technology. And we learned of it from the ruins of the Inusanum, the race that came before us. It was our secret for centuries. Wow. Love this stuff. This is good. Well, if it is true, the Asari should have shared this knowledge. We might not have been in this mess if they had. You don't know that, Shepard. We don't know what's going on here. I know we don't have much time to find out. The few records I can access talk about tapping into Prothean data streams, reconstructing matrices, none of which I see here. I do. The activation process has begun. By the goddess. Literally. Literally. <laughs> there must be more of these connections. <clears throat> the beacon seems to think you're Prothean, Shepard. It must be the cipher you got back on Pharos years ago. Or it could be the Prothean standing next to you. Yeah, I was like, uh, there's literally a Prothean in our vicinity. I guess... There have to be more connections nearby. I guess if we didn't have Javik with us, Liara would be like, Wow, well, it thinks you're Prothean because of this. But then this just kind of debunks that straight away. You're like, uh, wouldn't it be the Prothean standing right next to us? No connection here. The end of the war is near. Find what we need. Finish the crucible, and vengeance is complete. I actually wonder if there's good crucible information on this beacon. This could be, this could be the key. Um, also just like the fact that, um, they just have a giant Prothean beacon underneath a statue. There has to be another. Oh, we're gonna crack it open. Oh, this is wild. I'm expecting some, I'm expecting some Asari to show up and try and silence us. Asari are observant. Was that sarcasm? And easily confused. It's gaining power. It's still not complete. There is nothing useful here. I'm wondering if we're going to have any Asari show up. This isn't a connection. And they'll be like, stop! You cannot reveal our secrets. Oh, hello. The activation is complete. We can access the beacon now. This is huge. All right, Shepard. We need to hurry. This place isn't going to. What is that? Last very long. Obtaining, Obtaining chronological, chronological marker. Hold. Time scale established. Post Prothean cycle confirmed. One of our computers. Whoa. Reaper presence detected. This galactic cycle has already reached its extinction terminus. Systems shutting down. Hold on. We need answers. To what question? The catalyst. We need to know what it is to finish the crucible. A memory of one of my people. I am called Vendetta. An advanced virtual construct, the Patrick Van, overseer of the project you refer to as Crucible. He died fighting the Reapers in the Battle of Tranvia 9. 
Your remaining time is also at an end. Were all Protheans so grim? It's more than a Prothean beacon. It's literally a Prothean VI. The amount of information you would be able to get directly from a VI itself is incredible. And it has information on the Crucible. What happened to the Crucible in your time? Why didn't the Protheans deploy it? We were sabotaged from within. A splinter group argued we should dominate the Reapers rather than destroy them. Cerberus. It fractured our order of battle. Later, we discovered the Separatists were indoctrinated. I always suspected as much. And now we're facing the same problem. With Cerberus. The past ages led us to believe that time is cyclical. Many patterns repeat. Like the Reaper attacks. And beyond. The same peaks of evolution, the same valleys of dissolution. The same conflicts are expressed in every cycle, but in a different manner. The repetition is too prevalent to be merely chance. We assume the Reapers were responsible for the pattern. Perhaps. Though I believe the Reapers are only servants of the pattern, they are not its master. So who is the master? Unknown. Its presence is inferred rather than observed. The only certainty is its intention. Galactic Annihilation. You now stand at that precipice. Holy fuck. Shepard's the only outlier here. Shepard's the unique one. This is why we're gonna win! <laughs> because it's me! I'm the chosen one. It is destiny. <laughs> um, holy shit. So, like, the whole time is cyclical thing. History repeats itself. That's not a unique concept in Mass Effect. That's literally in our own culture. It's in our own society. It's in a lot of, uh, a lot of like, media and also fiction and all of that kind of stuff. We... Uh, we are very familiar with the concept of history repeats itself. Uh, a lot of a lot of things have used this, um, but it's very interesting to also get the information on top of this that the Reapers are not in charge of uh, putting a stop to it. Like every every now and again, every time we get to that precipice, but there is they are they believe that they're also slaves to their own cycle. How they're like you know. Uh, the cycle must continue. Like is what the Reapers were saying. Like they are almost forced to repeat their own um their own activities as well is there something above the reapers I imagine we get we get to the end somehow palpatine returned there's still hope for this cycle we need to know what the catalyst is trillions of lives are at risk trillions of lives are always at risk but if the reapers have arrived to end your cycle this discussion is too late we can break this cycle we found your plans for the Crucible. We're building it right now. The Crucible is not a protein design. It is the work of countless galactic cycles stretching back millions of years. Each cycle adds to it. Each improves upon it. Thus far, none have successfully defeated the Reapers with it. Oh my god. This, like, the amount, the... <laughs> The, the episodes that we've been doing previously, like, all of the stuff that is happening in Mass Effect 3 right now is just, like, time and time again, just, here, here is the ceiling, and let's blow the lid off of it with information once again. Oh, and here's the next ceiling. You know, you've reached another limit. Just when you thought your mind couldn't be blown, it has been blown once again. Each cycle has added to the Crucible over time. So we have gotten as, uh, it gets further and further each time. They weren't me. It's not all me. I'm not going to take credit for me being responsible for everything when it's literally the biggest group effort of all time. Then we'll be the first. Tell us what the Catalyst is. Listen to the human. She can be trusted. I detect you are one of us. You are Prothean. The last. I am the final hope to avenge our people. Your mission was known to me. Do you believe this present cycle can deliver retribution? They have earned the right to try. Tell us what we need to know. Very well. If you have followed the plans for the Crucible, I will interface with your systems and assist with the Catalyst too. Indoctrinated presence detected. Activating security protocol. Oh, the Asari are indoctrinated. Oh, no. Oh. You. You killed the scientists. What do you want? Your attention. Huh? Someone would like to talk with you. Oh, great. The elusive man. Ooh. 
That was very unexpected. I thought we were going to have indoctrinated Asari. Shepard. How did you find this place? The archives. Or did your shadow broker miss that one? Show yourself. I promise I won't miss. Stick to your talents, Dr. Dasani. You've helped uncover the key to subjugating the Reapers. Or destroying them. Damn it, Shepard. Destroying the Reapers gains us nothing. How about peace? They're just trying to control us. Think about it. If they wanted all organic life destroyed, they could do it. There would be nothing left. Uh, <clears throat> they pretty much get us close to nothing. You know, in every sense of the word. <clears throat> this dude is an idiot. Sorry, excuse me. So, Kai Leng just shows up. Your attention, please. I'm randomly here now. Um, I genuinely thought there was going to be some sort of a Sari conspiracy. They would show up and be like, indoctrinated um, to prevent stuff from going on. So it said indoctrinated presence detected. So Kai Leng, uh, and then maybe by extension, the elusive man and Cerberus are indoctrinated by uh, the Reapers, because they probably have had and salvaged Reaper technology. Like right at the beginning of the game, when we went to one of their bases, there was some Reaper stuff, I think. I, I think if I'm remembering correctly. So they could be acting on Reaper indoctrination right now to prevent their destruction through humanity. That's the only thing I can get by uh, the VI saying indoctrinated presence detected, unless Cerberus indoctrination um, is similar or using a, a similar type of technology. Anyway. What the hell are you talking about? I know them, Shepard. <clears throat> I know how they think. I think you've gotten a little too close to the enemy. No. I'm saying they've got it right. Why kill when you can control? What the fuck? Is he indoctrinated by Harbinger? Relinquishing control. Are you fucking talking about control, bud? You've been spending too much time with the enemy. They're dragging you over to their side, their way of thinking. No, I just see things differently. If you truly care about humanity, you'll stop fighting me. You'll join me. Don't ever question my intentions. I've sacrificed more for humanity than you'll ever know. And don't assume you know me. My methods for dealing with the Reapers are simply more refined than yours. You are an idiot. You have forgotten everything you stood for. Cerberus was supposed to be humanity's sword, not a dagger in our back. Poetic, but as usual, you miss the point. The world is more gray than you care to admit. With the Prothean data in this beacon, I can end this conflict once and for all. You're either with me or against me. There's nothing gray about that. No, I suppose there isn't. Leng, the commander has something I need. Please relieve her of it. And then bring me the data. Understood. Oh, fucking... Yes, Commander! You're slower than I imagined, Shepard. Understood. Got it. Your friend Zane died. I've been hit. Cover me while I recharge. What? Oh, Cerberus pilot. Um, is Kyling voiced by Troy Baker? I've got this. <laughs> I need to recharge, cover me. I can't see. It is done. <laughs> Shepard is mine now. Right away. You've 
had your fun now, Shepard. It's a pity the good ones never last. There's only one way this ends. Why is there no music? It makes it so awkward. Target the supports. Oh my god, dude. Oh my god. Cerberus thanks you for all your hard work. Why is everyone so useless against this guy? your location. Dude. <laughs> God, this is such bullshit. Commander Shepard, are you there? Commander. Counselor? The mission... Contact with Thessia has been cut off. When will the Crucible be ready to use? Counselor, I... I wish the news was better. We didn't get the information. Why not? Cerberus was there. We were... We were defeated. We don't know how to finish the Crucible. I... don't know what to say. What was the situation on Thessia? Deteriorating fast. The Reapers are there in strength. Then I should be going. Plans... must be put in motion. Continuity of civilization has to be considered. I never imagined this day would come. None of us did. Um... Sorry. Asari forces are in full retreat. It is no longer safe for us to remain in this system. Get us out of here. Shepard... I... Nobody could have predicted 
Cerberus would reach Thessia before us. Dude, it was just one dude who just stood there and went, Oh, I've got to recharge my shields. <laughs> just got slapped in the face with plot armor. And that sucks. I hate how close we are to, to victory, only to have it snatched away. It's my job to be prepared, no matter what. And now Thessia's lost, as is the data on the Catalyst. I'm sick of Cerberus beating us to the punch. Let's kick them in the balls first for a change. I'm with James. Anyone know where they're hiding? Anyone? Um... Well, there is something. Let's hear it, trainer. I was able to track Kai Leng's shuttle through the relay and extrapolate his destination. But the signal disappeared in the Yera system. Naturally. It's not just gone, though. The signal is being actively blocked. How? I'm not sure, but something is interfering with all signal activity in that region of space. Commander, the Yara system is home to Sanctuary and little else. Sanctuary is a supposed safe haven for war refugees. You think it's worth checking out, Trainer? Yes, Mom. I do. If Specialist Trainer hadn't examined the data so astutely, the interference would have been undetectable. Trainer is best girl. Trainer is amazing. Nice work, Trainer. You've given us a shot. Now let's make sure we don't waste it. I was stationed on Horizon in the Lyra system, and you were the only Cerberus presence while I was there. It's a slim lead. Let's hope it's the right one. I don't care how slim the leads are at this point. We've come too far to let Cerberus stop us. I want that Prothean data. I want the Catalyst. No excuses. Dismissed. Yes, ma'am. God fucking damn it, Cerberus. Oh, we're going to Horizon. I am sick to death of Cerberus. Holy crap. Uh, Codex, the fall of Th uh, Thessia. The assault on Thessia did not go as smoothly as the Reaper's strikes against other races. While other species met the Reapers head on, the Asari resorted to dangerous hit and run tactics to harass their attackers. By engaging in guerrilla strategies, blasting a Reaper ship, then jumping to FTL where they could not be tracked, the Asari forced the Reapers to remain on the defensive. Unfortunately, the Reaper's greater numbers allowed them to accept certain losses, so they soon ignored the attacks against them and began an orbital bombardment of Thessia. This in turn forced the Asari to defend their homeworld with a more traditional stance, facing the Reapers for our Reaper forces directly. As soon as the Reapers landed on Thessia, the harvesting began. A swift and brutal slaughter of the Asari ground forces followed. Resistance from trained biotics barely slowed the attackers down. In the end, Thessia's minimal military forces, combined with unpreparedness in the face of an overwhelming enemy, resulted in the fall of the planet. Alright, priority, Horizon. Cerberus may be using the Sanctuary facility on Horizon as a cover for secret activity. Land on Horizon to search for clues about their operations. Okay. Shepard, I heard about Thessia. We were so close, Anderson, so damn close to ending this war. You didn't think it'd be that easy, did you? I knew going in what the Reapers were capable of, but I also knew what I was capable of. And losing the Asari homeworld wasn't in the playbook. Shepard, you know how many times I got my ass handed to me over the years? Surviving the first contact war back in the day was a goddamn miracle. They said I was a hero. I just felt lucky to get out alive. So maybe Kai Lang did beat you. What of it? It could cost us the war. These guys in the Resistance, they know it's a losing proposition. They know the chances of seeing tomorrow are slim to none, but we all signed up anyway. Hell, I'm sitting in London right now staring at rubble. I was born here, and it's looking like I might die here too. So I say point us at the Reapers and we'll take our chances. You'll make it, Anderson. And when this is all over, you can show me London. <laughs> it might need a new coat of paint first. This'll be over soon. It better. 
Shake this off, Shepard. I will. Anderson out. Cool, so if we're going to where san uh, Sanctuary, where Cerberus is, can we just get every single person that we know and just attack this place head on and just disintegrate Kai Ling out of existence? Let's get our whole squad who's still alive back together. <laughs> can we get everyone back, please? So we can just, all of us, just grab Kai Ling, tear him limb from limb, and throw him into space. Because god damn it. I'm sick of this. <laughs> I'm sick of it. <laughs> oh my god. Kai Lang shows up, is overpowered, refuses to elaborate, leaves. Damn. About after we took down that Reaper on Rannoch. I don't know. Yeah, but there's no way we could have stopped every Reaper on Thessia. The Asari should have jumped in earlier. Trainer is one of the best uh, people that we have. Like, holy shit, she has been so good. Cerberus has attacked a comm facility on Onteron. I've updated the galaxy map. Now she's amazing. Thanks for listening, Commander. It was a good idea. And right now, it's the best lead we've got. In any event, good luck. Commander. Evacuating Thessia from Asari Military Command. Good, you open this message. This isn't actually Asari Military Command. They're busy tending to what's left of their planet. So you survived our fight on Thessia. You're not as weak as I thought, but never forget that your best wasn't good enough to stop me. Oh. Now an entire planet is dying because you lack the strength to win. The Legend of Shepard needs to be rewritten. I hope I'm there for the last chapter. It ends with your death. Kai Lang just sent us hate mail. He's a fucking child. He went, ha, 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 kill yourself, Shepard. <laughs> I got the data. I'm going to punch that man so hard in the face that he is going to, he is going to <laughs> be sent 50,000 years into the future. He's going to wake up being the last human. With no limbs, by the way. The limb the limb removal is still happening in that scenario. He will be a floating meat sack, unable to walk. If we don't finish that crucible soon, there won't be a galaxy left to save. So Thessia, huh? I guess the Asari are wishing they had fewer dancers and more commandos right about now. Too soon? Bruh. Come on. In case you hadn't noticed, we just lost a few million people. This isn't the time. You see this? Tip tree. Little colony out in the ass end of nowhere. My dad lives there. So does my sister. Reapers rolled in about two weeks ago. So you can assume that I'm generally aware there's a war on Commander. So why the jokes? Because Edie says that according to your armor's metabolic scans, you're under more stress now than during the Skillian Blitz. Like, more than a coup's, where Thresher Maws ate the rest of your squad. And the last time I had a briefing with Anderson, he told me to take care of you. The guy leading the resistance on Earth is worried about you. And I'm supposed to help. God. I appreciate the thought, Joker, but I'm fine. The hell you are. You're like half robot at this point. No offense, Edie. And it's my fault. When the Collectors blew up the first Normandy, you died because I wouldn't leave. Because you had to come back for me. I couldn't leave the best pilot in the fleet behind, could I? Yeah, well, I guess that would have looked bad on your report. Come on. We got work to do. Tip tree. I'm pretty sure the, um, the, that PTSD Asari that we were talking about was on tip tree with, like, the the reapers and stuff, right? The indoctrinated stuff? She was talking about that. Commander. So that's interesting. Shepard, I have a question about human behavior. This isn't the best time, Edie. Perhaps humor? A penguin is driving through the Arizona desert. I'm not in the mood. A lively rendition of La Marseillaise? No. Very well. I will maintain a respectful silence until you indicate otherwise. Hello, Shepard. 
I really, I really, well, if there's one thing that Mass Effect 3 in this moment has done correctly with their writers and story, it's that I'm feeling just as angry as Shepard about the events that are currently going on. So I feel very immersed in this game right now to be just as angry as Shepard, <laughs> to just be like, oh my god, no time for jokes, I'm so annoyed. Hello, Shepard. You know? Commander. God damn. <sighs> okay, let's have a look. Garrus main battery. Tali. Where's Liara? Liara's in the port cargo with Javik. Okay. Uh, engineering. Caden's in engineering. So Tali's in the mess hall. James and Cortez, as usual, in the armory. Alright, let's go have a chat to everybody. And then, I guess we're heading to... I guess we're heading to Sanctuary. This wasn't your fault. It's not about fault. I was supposed to stop them. You will. I don't know if I can do this, Tally. Earth, Palavin, Thessia. I'm risking everything to build the Crucible, and I'm not even sure what it does. Who am I to make that call? You're the one who was right all along. You fought when no one else would, when nobody else believed you. You can do this. I know you can. Thanks, Shepard. What are they came me for? Thanks, Shepard. Tense. Sony has gone to speak with the Prothean. Friendly Garrison from Thessier would have sniped Kyle Lang in the head. Any word from your family? They made it off Palavin. It was tight, but they're okay. Good news. Fantastic. That must be a weight off your shoulders. Some good news. Though this being a war, one burden replaces another. What happened? I just had to make a tough call with the Primarch. He said our fleets are being decimated, so I advised him to cease all offensive operations against the Reapers. A full retreat? The only way to save Palavin now is to hold our ships back for the Crucible. But if I'm wrong, then a lot of other Turian families won't be as lucky as mine. Well... That's a hell of a gamble. No other options? If there are, I can't see them. It all comes down to the Crucible now. And ruthless calculus. <sighs> How are you holding up, Shepard? This all has to be taking a toll. There's only so much fight in a person. Only so much death you can take before you... Before a certain Turian with no romantic skills to speak of tries to cheer you up. Cheer? Coming from you? Mm. Mood swings. <laughs> Don't worry. We'll get through this. We always do. Yeah. Yes. Not something you can ever get used to. Seeing a world go down like that. Thousands of years of civilization on fire. But it wasn't your fault. Thessia was already gone by the time we got there. And maybe the elusive man did win one, but so what? I've lost a few fights in my time, and I'm still here. It's because I always made you... A battle doesn't make a war, Shepard. We're still in this. So he just jumped onto another thought and forgot about his current one. I, f I tend to, because Cerberus, we fight against Cerberus because they're like another threat to fight against in this game, but I forget about the Elusive Man and Kai Leng because they're so, uh, their appearance in this game is so minimal. They don't, And then they just show up and they go, ha ha, I'm here. And I'm like, all oh, right, I forgot about you because we're focusing on something more important. And it's like, it's just so annoying that they just show up, be overpowered, win. And then we have to be like, well... Back to square one. Have you checked on Liara? She must be devastated. That's not something you ever forget. Also, the fact the fact that the elusive man is literally like it feels like he's almost he was almost struggling to talk to Shepard when he's like, "No, I've 
I've had different experiences. Like I know what's I know what's right. Blah blah blah. Like I don't know what that is. I don't know if that's in, in him wrestling against indoctrination or wrestling against his own beliefs. But it's it's that's definitely an interesting um, interesting part of it. This is when you take all your anger and frustration, bottle it up, then use it to rearrange every molecule in Kai Lang's body. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Garrus has that same energy. Rearrange every molecule sounds very fun, actually. We could do that. We could do that. Maybe instead of tearing the limbs off, we could do something like that. How are you, Commander? Do you really need to ask? Do you really need to ask? Okay, no one's there. Engineering. Have you found your story on Thessia yet? No. I'm trying to word it right. What happens if you word it wrong? If I'm lucky, the Citadel Stock Exchange drops 2,000 extra points. And if you're unlucky? I don't know. I've never really been unlucky. Commander. Okay. I'll we'll save Javik and Liara till after. Okay. Nothing to report. Shepard. Commander. And don't worry about Kai Lang. Now that we've seen his dirty moves, next time he's getting his ass kicked. Count on it. We saw his dirty moves before already, when we just witnessed him beat up a sick dying man in front of our very eyes and we didn't even try to snob him. Can't wait to get back out there. Can't wait to get back out there. Can't wait to get back out there. Those were all lies back there. They were not. My people weren't animals for your kind to experiment on. You wanted to know more about your history, Asari. Now you do. I have a name. It's Liara Tassoni, and I'd have- Hey! Settle down. My home was just destroyed, and all he can do is gloat! Given what's happened today, I think you owe Liara an apology, Javik. Apologize for the truth? For not doing more. You're a Prothean. You were supposed to have all the answers. How could you not stop this from happening? We believed you would. Long ago we saw the potential in your people. Even then it was obvious. The wisdom, the patience. You were the best hope for this cycle. So you were guided when necessary. Well, it didn't work. You're still alive, aren't you? Your world may have fallen. But as long as even one Asari is left standing, the fight isn't over. I guess that goes for Protheans too. Despair is the enemy's greatest weapon. Do not let them wield it. Liara to Sony. That's good. I don't care if it was true or not, it's what was necessary to be said. That was unexpected. <laughs> Thank you. We still need her talents. If grief overcomes her, she will be lost to us. So did you actually mean what you said? Does it matter? Liara's been a good friend to me. It matters. Then I will tell you what you want to hear. I meant what I said. Carry on. Uh, I don't know if you saw that, because I don't know if maybe I was in the way, I wasn't looking. But like, Liara was just like in the corner of the screen and she just like disappeared. I suffered many defeats in the last war, Commander. Let this loss be the fuel that powers your rage. If there is to be victory in this war, it will be for all cycles. The living will avenge the dead. And do not concern yourself with Thessia's fate, Commander. The loss of a planet is insignificant next to the loss of the galaxy. The amount of dialogue that I'm losing out on because the game is buggy and it just decides to move on to the next line is awful. <laughs> the power to destroy a planet is insignificant uh, next to the power of the Force is literally what that line was all about. <laughs> 
Do not be proud of this technological terror you've constructed. The power to destroy a planet is insignificant next to the power of the Force. Many are asking what I eat. They will never know. It is harder to be poisoned that way. Is it true you keep fish in your cabin, Commander? Is that because fish are poisonous to him, or because he wants to eat fish? <laughs> you cannot eat my fish, Javik. my own thoughts. Eat. Cannot eat fish. They're my friends. I kind of wanted to let Liara have a moment, but also I like to make sure that uh, we are not in fighting because everyone needs to get the hell along. Otherwise, we're going to lose. I appreciate you checking in on me. Everything is in order. Okay. Do you hear that hum or is that just me? Hey, for what it's worth, I know how it feels to lose like that. I know that doesn't make it easier, but you're just human like the rest of us. If you're trying to make me feel better, it's not working, Lieutenant. Hey, everyone on this ship knows you did all you could. You need to cut yourself some slack. Whatever it takes to get that data back from Cerberus, we're behind you. Whatever it takes to end this. Noted. I'm actually Space Jesus, James, so you need to cut me some slack. Sure would have liked to visit Thessia before the war. Imagine a whole world of those blue beauties. One of the wonders of the galaxy, if you ask me. You want to hit Cerberus where it hurts? I'm with you. Ready when you are. Eight. All right, let's go. Actually, while I'm here, this is a good time to upgrade my... Because I got money. Um, which one's the better one? The Scorpion or the... I forgot which one's the better one. I even forgot what it was called. Uh, it's the Scorpion and I don't even think I can upgrade it here. Oh, there it is. The Arc Pistol. The Scorpion costs more, therefore it's probably the better gun, right? I switched to the Arc Pistol. Maybe I should go back to the Scorpion. Especially if I upgrade it. Yeah. I haven't bought weapon upgrades in a while, because I made sure that my weapons were pretty much the best. I might switch uh, Garrus to have cool sniper. Because I think these had similar stats, and that was the unupgraded version, so I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna do that. Especially because of how strong it is. Everything else I don't know if is uh, really necessary. Alright. Whew, back to the CIC. Um, so I guess we've got a new system to take out. We're going to... Uh, we've also got... Um, Onteron to prevent Cerberus from getting control of crucial access points, so I'll jump in and do that as well, and then we'll be heading to uh, Sanctuary Facility on Horizon. So that's going to be interesting. Uh, Onteron. 16 years ago, the Systems Alliance established their first dish field on Onteron, defying the tidal disruptions and electrical storms that periodically sweep across the planet. The facility has since grown into a crucial communications hub for the Alliance. Trade between the Alliance base and nearby human settlements sustains planetary unity. The Alliance also trains and hires colonists to maintain the quantum communicators, further strengthening the bond between locals and the military forces that use the comm stations. Although most of the communication relays serve the military, a coalition of Onterom's businesses have begun construction on a civilian broadcast hub. The local Alliance commander has offered the help of the military's technical experts, making Onterom a symbol of civilian and military cooperation. Awesome. Uh, I'm going to take a brief break and then we are going to jump into doing this next round of missions. Commander, they've almost got the doors open. Help! Got it covered, Commander. Area cleared. Picking up Miss Sato, then heading back to the rendezvous point. Good job, Lieutenant. Done and dusted. Easy peasy. Our communication station is secure. Operations in this theater are safe again. No small task to keep it that way. How is Misato doing? She has to be transferred to a nearby Alliance station. She wants to help however she can. Good. We need all the help we can get. Hack it out. 
Easy. Thank you. Did we get some... We got a war asset for that? We did. Another alliance war asset for that. Communication arrays. Before fleeing onto Rome with Commander Shepard's help, technical, uh, technician Grace Sato saved a copy of the schematics for the Alliance's most advanced communications relay. Sato will use these schematics to build several smaller arrays to, correct, to collect crucial intel from points in various systems. Nice. Anything at this point is just hitting over the, the maximum, so that's pretty good. Still getting that bonus war assets. And now... We head to Sanctuary. Commander. Okay, let's open up the system. Okay, Shadow Sea. Investigate Sanctuary. Heading back to Horizon, that's interesting. Watchman Prospect Venture Horizon. Cool names for planets, actually. There's nothing to scan in the previous system and nothing to scan here either, I seem. Okay, let's investigate Shanksuary. A temperate world that has hit the sweet spot for carbon-based life, Horizon has a nitrogen-oxygen atmosphere maintained by abundant plants and bacteria. Its soil is particularly compatible with Earth, vegetation, and so a thriving human community has sprung up. Horizon's population is in flux. A collector attack in 2185 inflicted significant casualties, but refugees have been streaming to the planet ever since the Reaper invasion began. Since many land illegally, there is no way to uh, accurately track population. Although many colonists resent the newcomers, others has embraced Horizon's new role. Advertisements for Sanctuary, its main refugee center, can be seen galaxy-wide. So there could be Cerberus on Sanctuary. That's very, very curious. Um, we're going to take... Uh, I'm going to take Garrus. I actually think it could be um, very interesting to take Caden. I genuinely think it could be very interesting to take Caden to Horizon, considering he used to be there. He was there before. So I actually think I actually think we might bring Caden along for a for a mission. As much as I want to bring along other people, I think it could be interesting. There'll probably be some throwaway lines about, Hey, remember when I hated you that time in Mass Effect 2? Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. I need to actually, uh... <laughs> I need to actually equip him with some stuff. I haven't given him anything to do. The only one that I've upgraded is the particle rifle. I might actually give him the chakram launcher, to be honest. It does a lot of damage. As much as I haven't even upgraded it, because I wasn't expecting to... I wasn't expecting to take him along. But we'll give him the scorpion, at least. Okay, let's give you some points as well, hey? Squadmate take a power damage by 10% or recharge speed of squadmate shields. Uh, overload. Let's max you out. Reeve. Damage protection, recharge speed. Sweet. There you go, Caden. Oh, look at all your lovely abilities. All right, Commander, what do we know? Edie, the Sanctuary facility was devoted to aiding refugees from Reaper-controlled systems. The facility went offline recently, and no communications have come or gone since. It is unclear why Kai Lang or Cerberus would be interested in Sanctuary. If there's a clue to Cerberus here, we find it. Ma'am, I'm picking up a signal from the facility. It's weak, but I'll try to boost it.
Oriana. That's Miranda's sister. If she's here, Miranda can't be far away. Holy now shit. To Cerberus. Approaching the LZ. Holy shit. Miranda's gonna be here. Cerberus does not get the jump on us this time. Stay sharp, people. Kai Leng literally jumps on them. Major damage, Commander. Yeah, but who is fighting? Dude, I am. I am excited. I am excited. Everyone hear that? Yeah, radio's offline. Something's jamming our signals. Explains no comms leaving the facility. And that's why the uh, that's why everyone's uh, the Come tracking on. of Kai Ling uh, was disrupted as well. Everyone gets cryo, right? Yeah, everyone gets cryo. I'm gonna leave, I'm gonna give him the launcher. You that and me that. Right. Oh, okay. We got reapers. I was like, what the hell? You see the harvester? I saw it. Phantom. Watch your back. Oh, Jesus. That's not even my body. All right, let's try that again. Oh, of course it happened right before I started doing all of the uh Alright, well, I'm gonna use warp ammo because it does more damage to barriers than armor. Yeah, radio's offline. Something's jamming our signals. Explains no comms. We got trouble! Understood. You see the harvester? I saw it! I like how they're just like literal like copies of Kai Lang. They're just like wielding the sword as well. God damn it! Behind cover, Nemesis. What's sniper? Deleted. About time they started killing each other. Interesting. All arrivals are asked to submit their possessions to our sorting staff for inspection. They will be returned. What happened here? Don't know. Come on. Cerberus shuttles came from that tower. Then that's where we're headed. Cerberus are leaving though. So light is. Whole bunch of alliance ships here. Understood. What are you understanding? Come on, let's keep looking. Desk log, civilian processing ratios, 60% into integration of adults, 85% of children into integration. Suitable candidates are being assigned to temporary living areas in alphabetical order. Family units being preserved for ease of processing. Uh, be suitable candidates is interesting. So, san Sanctuary Cerberus Front. The number of refugees has doubled in the last two weeks. I heard that people are just abandoning shuttles outside the main gate. They just don't have anywhere to go. 
We'll need to start setting up temporary shelters out there until they can be processed. Plant chance of signal leaving the planet. Interesting. So Sanctuary had already disabled communication. But where are all the people they brought? Got a fragment of something here. I can't call right now, but I'll send this as soon as I can. My little girl got sick. That's why I left. I love you, but I have to take care of her. The clinics were closing their doors to refugees. I couldn't borrow credits from you. I don't know where I learned about Sanctuary. Around, I guess. Seemed perfect. Somewhere to hide, you know? Just till she got better. I can see the place out the window. It's huge. They already have people waiting for us. Got another one. We land in a few minutes. You should see this place, Daddy. It's amazing. Look, I'll record a bunch of stuff and send it to you. They warned us about no comms until we're through processing. What I tell you, top-notch security. Can't wait till you get here. Uh, uh, this doesn't feel very nice. Casualties, both sides. Exit. Keep looking. Cerberus facility. Sanctuary was all a uh, sanctuary was a ruse. Suitable candidates to become like indoctrinated under through Cerberus and become their soldiers. Holy fuck! This is Miranda Lawson. If you've managed to get this far, you must be desperate or stupid. Listen to me. This is not a refugee camp. This is a Cerberus facility run by my father, Henry Lawson. Turn back now. There is no help to be found here. All communication is being blocked from the central tower. Sanctuary is a lie. Stay away. Okay, so we've got Cerberus, Reapers, and Miranda's crazy father. Any ideas how this all fits? Far out. And Kai Ling's here as well? Kai Ling, Miranda's brother. Genetically, oh, that wouldn't make sense because Miranda was like genetically created to become like the be like the perfect one, right? So then his father was like, "Fuck it, I'm gonna have a, I'm gonna have Kai Lang, and he's gonna be more powerful than everybody. He's gonna be genetically superior to everybody." I feel like that's what I'm walking into right now. The Kai Lang origin. He was created from a bottle to be a super strong, amazing man. Who's better than everyone? A that makes panel. sense. Shutting it down. Look at that. Why go to the trouble of concealing it? I don't know. Let's check it out. We have a back door into the facility. Let's move. So we're trying to get in there, right? I'd recognize Reaper technology anywhere, Commander. I don't know how, but 
Cerberus is using it for something. Doesn't look good. And Miranda's caught in the middle. Let's pick up the pace. Yeah, so, so either either I'm assuming as like on a basis level, because Cerberus has been fucking around with Reaper stuff, that Cerberus is indoctrinated by the Reapers, and that's why the elusive man is doing what he's doing. It seems that way. Or Cerberus are just nuts. As usual. I don't know. Miranda's father being involved is super interesting. Very curious to see how this is about to play out. This is going to get ugly, Shepard. Nothing good ever came out of Reaper Tech. for a switch. Oh, the switch is the console here? Power switch. There. What's happening? Those are the refugees. They're just rounding them up and slaughtering them. No. Worse. They're being turned into husks. Cerberus is indoctrinated. Doing their dirty work. Just like the collectors. Cerberus are the collectors now. They're collecting humanity. interact with this. Oh, right here. I don't get it. Why go through all this just to make husks? But what does the elusive man gain? The Reapers attacked because this place was a threat. We need to find out why. Or a Cerberus using Reaper tech to make Reaper stuff of their own to fight the Reapers and then control them? I don't... I there's, there's so many, I love that there are so many ways that this could go. Like, I think it could be one thing, and I've said my theories, but the fact that I, the more you go into this, you're like, actually, it could be something else. Shutting down the power. Reaper forces have made a mess of the facility. I'm shutting down the power to the processing plant to lock them down. I should keep them out of the entrance as well. Lang. She doesn't know he's here. Miranda Lawson has arrived sooner than expected. Do you want me to deal with her? Only if she gets in your way. Stay focused on the research data. Find it and get out. Yes, sir. Damn it. Let's move. Research data. <clears throat> Okay, maybe not, maybe Kai Leng. Okay, maybe Kai Leng was not created here. 
necessary first step in decoding how the Reapers communicate. Oh, okay. It's how the Reaper signal interacts with the nanites implanted within the subject's body. It's early yet, but we are making progress. Uh, okay. Okay, that's a little deeper. We're getting a little deeper into it. We got Reaper troops! Must be left over from the attack! Just floating. I wonder if I could find those Cerberus uh, ciphers here for the Citadel. That's what I'm looking for. We'll see. Why is there a banshee just on the other side of the window? What's up? Hello. Dr. Nuri's legacy work with subject Paul Grayson provided a key element to our work here. Using the addictive drug Red Sand to break down the will was inspired, but proved unreliable for general application. We've proven that adrenaline and its cross-species equivalents is most effective and efficient. What kind of monster does this to people? I don't get it. I don't either. The pursuit of efficiency has revealed an important fact. The Reaper's use of dragon's teeth to create husks is ingenious. The Reaper nanites attach themselves to the adrenaline released and quickly move through the body to speed conversion to the final husk state. indoctrination terminals damaged hang on maybe we'll get some answers as to why the reapers wanted this place shut down it doesn't make sense not cerberus and the reapers were getting along what changed you got it shepherd heading to the tower to disable the communication scrambler i have to get word out some refugees are turned into husks some are indoctrinated and shipped to the elusive man. Whoever's left is used in experiments. The data indicates that my father is trying to figure out how Reaper indoctrination works. Tricking refugees with food and shelter only to turn them into test subjects. And for what? This is disgusting. And the scale of this. She mentioned shipments. Could lead us to the elusive man. Good catch. Come on. Miranda said she was headed to the tower. Dude, just the fact that uh, the VI, uh, the VI on Thessia was like indoctrinated presence detected. So Kai Lang has been like indoctrinated with potentially this same, this exact same thing. Progress update: Rejected subjects are proven useful for preliminary genetic testing. The death rates are 100% of course, but the data being gathered is critical to improving subsequent testing on viable subjects. Note, only approved personnel with Alpha 3 and above level security clearance are allowed to access the genetic waste testing area. Be aware that security breaches of any kind will uh, result in immediate contract termination. Research data, salvage. Oh, they got the barrier things. Get rid of the barrier things! Oh. Yes, nice. Ah! I 
still just love feeling like a goddamn powerhouse. God damn. Like, it is just so much fun. Holy crap. This is insane. Oh, there's a locust to pick up. And a shotgun blade attachment. A whole bunch of stuff. Dude. Honestly, just throwing in all the abilities that everyone has together, like um, Caden doing, like, Reeve. Garrus's uh, overload. I mean, concussion shot coming in clutch. Oh, there's another one. What by him? By him? What by him? <laughs> another one. Like, honestly. Charging in, doing a Nova, heavy melee, rinse repeat, shuck into the face. Plus your squad mate's abilities. Uh, Mass Effect 3, oh my god. Mass Effect 3 is definitely my favorite gameplay wise um, right now. That's one that I can say with like the utmost confidence is it has gotten better and better in each game, but it is just at its peak right now. Like it is so good. Uh, how all the abilities feel together. The squad mates, um, they get killed. I'm on insanity, and they're not getting killed. Uh, they're not getting killed very often, right? Like, they die. But in Mass Effect 2, I was playing on normal, and my people were dying constantly. I think I... It's insane. Well, not true husks. They still respond to Reaper signals. More work ahead, but we are moving forward. I think I bumped, I, th I can't entirely remember, I think I might have bumped it up to hard. Oh no, I think I was playing it on hard. In Mass Effect 2, actually. Can't remember. Um, but, like, even then, like, I wasn't playing on the hardest difficulty, like I am now. And uh, the squad mates hold their own, they're good, and their abilities are absolutely great. I love how, uh, I love how level distribution works in this game, like being level 60 and having almost all of your abilities maxed out is amazing. There's just one that can still be upgraded. Well, I mean, that's obvious. Um, you know, just like that kind of, that kind of stuff, but like the, the combat in this, them deciding to, let's give Vanguard the Nova ability. So good. I can't wait to like replay this game uh, again and play as like male ship in a different class, taking different dialogue choices, different romance paths. Like there's a there's a whole different game to be played um, with Mass Effect, and I think that's uh, that's so much fun. Um, and I, I just love the possibilities uh, from not only a story perspective but also a gameplay perspective. This can be so many different games for so many different people depending on how they want to play, and I think that's really awesome. So Mass Effect 3 is definitely my favorite gameplay-wise. Internal memo, streamlining procedures. In an effort to streamline our waste elimination process, a high-grade liquefaction compound has been added to our alkaline hydrolysis, hydro, hydrolysis disposal systems. Our goal is to ensure that our processing system can meet the expected processing ratios as more subjects arrive at this facility. As a result, personnel must wear level 4 hazmat suits at all times while in a disposal area. Because there's so much poop everywhere. Heavy resistance outside the tower. If you're receiving this, I've got evidence you cannot ignore. Confirmation that my father is working for the elusive man. Connection established. I have your report on the process, Mr. Lawson. Cut to the chase. Can you do it? Theoretically, control is possible, yes. The Reaper subjects we converted are responding, but it's difficult to maintain. I thought that might be the case. Not to worry, Henry. With Sanctuary's help, we'll get it sorted. He's talking about controlling Reaper forces? Is that is that possible? I don't know. I'll play the rest of it. We've done it. We've found a way to co-op their control signal. As long as the Reaper troops remain in close proximity to our signal, we can maintain control indefinitely. Excellent news. And how could we extrapolate this technique to apply to the Reapers themselves? That's a much bigger challenge. Hmm. Now we know where the Reapers attack Sanctuary. Figured Cerberus out. Tough break for the elusive man. But it's good news for us. We finally have our link to Cerberus. 
Lowering the access ladder. Come on, let's move. Wait, come Dude. on, there's more. Oh no. Damn it. I hope she's ready for him. Okay, so throw all of my theories out the window because it's that's not certainly not what's what's happening here. Okay, so Kai Lang probably is not created by Henry Lawson, that's fine. Uh, they're not indoctrinated, but they're understanding and controlling their own Reaper forces with their own by researching how the indoctrination works with the signal and replicating it. God damn. And now it's Kai Leng versus Miranda. Plot armor man versus genetically uh, modified badass. It's just like one of those periods when you're like, I might die here. <laughs> I'm gonna die now. No, we're okay. We're still alive. We got this. Good. <laughs> I was like, uh, I could die here. Potentially. Paul just deletes them. I was one. I was wondering if it would do damage to them because they're just like tiny ones. God damn all the spore pods. So many details in this facility, like all behind the windows and stuff. Garrus, watch where you're standing. Taking it in is, uh, it's pretty heavy, dude. Shepard, over here! Shepard, over here! <clears throat> This'll get us closer to the tower. Oh, okay. This way. Oh shit. Shepard! Stay out of their reach! On the double! They're all coming from that room up ahead. Let's get over there! Banshees, man. Doorway ahead. Let's move. 
pod status activate this pod or just pod status pod one foreign material president pod two pod integrity compromised pod three subject deactivated pod manual override it says press b to do pod manual override it doesn't do anything oh hang on Okay. God damn, look at the details on these things. That is like, that is some body horror shit. Pod number one. Oh, oh, there's a gun in there. M99 Saber, that's why we're doing it. I was like, what? what is the purpose of this? Someone was like, yes, let me put this gun in this pod. That makes so much sense. Anyway, you've just appeared. There we go. It's like, well, uh, usually ready. they just usually they just teleport and they just appear where I am. Oh, I'm hearing stuff. Shepard. A commander oh. Shepard. Excellent timing. Put the gun down. And there's the daughter. No. Ariana tried to shoot me. Miranda's poisonous influence, no doubt. I'm sorry she missed. Where's Kai Lang? I don't know. Gone. He took my research and left us here to die. Miranda, can you hear me? That's close enough. Both of you. Kai Leng didn't finish the job, but I will. This ends here. On the contrary. Now that the Reapers are taken care of, we have a way out. Let her go. Shepard, don't let him take her. Shepard, please. So, Kai Lang just shows up, steals stuff, refuses to elaborate, leaves. That's literally it. Oh my god. So he's got the he's got the VI information on uh, the catalyst, and he's got the um, research information on indoctrination of Reapers. Come on. I have no problem with you. I just want Oriana and the research data. You want a lot. You get your life in return. How much is that worth? All right. Take her. <laughs> but I want out alive. Deal? Yeah, Miranda's not going to let that one happen. Yeah, I, I knew that was going to happen. <laughs> no deal. <laughs> well done, Miranda. Did he hurt you? Are you all right? It's okay, Ori. You're safe now. I'm fine. I just... I want to get out of here. We will. Give me a minute, okay? Commander Shepard. Fancy meeting you here. We caught a break. You alright? I'll be fine. Really. I don't know how you managed it, but I'm grateful you're here. Hell yeah. I knew Miranda at the very first opportunity was gonna just... BOOM! Rearrange his atoms. So good. How did you do all this? Finding my father didn't take long once I confirmed he worked for the elusive man. <sighs> Just had to follow the lies. Once I saw what this place really was, I couldn't just walk away. Of course. Things got really complicated when Reapers showed up. And Kai Leng. You survived. Not many people could do that. When you mentioned he was involved, I took a few precautions. Probably saved my life. Yes. So this is what this is what we trusted Miranda with. This is what we gave her Alliance resources for. Miranda, this whole thing was a huge risk. You should have told me. You have a war to win, Shepard. This was my fight. It's been a long time coming. You did it. It's over. Yes. I just wish my sister didn't have to see all this. About your father. I'm glad he's gone, Shepard. 
I'm sorry if that sounds cold. It's no. reasonable. I understand. It's finally over. For both of us. We can stop running. Yes, you can. What's our status? Any intel we can use from this place? Research data is gone, but we've got basic facility information. Shuttle arrivals and departures. Cerberus included. No direct links, but it's a start. Grab anything you can off the computer. We'll take it back to be analyzed. Get trainer right on it. What? Before Kai Ling took off, I planted a tracer on him. If you act fast, you'll track him right to the elusive man. Tracer? Sounds like you thought of everything. Not quite, but... Nobody's perfect. Thanks, Miranda. This is exactly what we need. Thought you might need some good news. Damn right. What's next for you two? Get her someplace safe. Get the scratch cleaned up. Okay. I gotta follow all this up. I'll be in touch, Shepard. Soon. I hope so. Come on, Ari. We've had enough of Father's hospitality. Let's make sure everyone knows about this place. Communication scrambler disabled. Listen to me. This is not a refugee camp. This is a Cerberus facility run Cortez, by Cortez, we father, need to pick up Henry at the Wilson. tower. Roger that. I've had enough of this place. Sanctuary. Done. I wasn't in favor of your diversion to Sanctuary, Commander. Too many unknowns. But I was wrong. The Cerberus lab you raided hinted at something big. But we never expected this. All those refugees, all that slaughter. Just to study indoctrination. Sanctuary did need to be shut down, sir. What they learned about the Reapers wasn't worth all those lives. It's useful intel, Commander, but you're right. The cost was too high. Do we have a location on the elusive man? Yes. We had a tracer on Kai Lang when he reported back. Good. That gives us a fighting chance to take Cerberus out of this war. Agreed. We need to end Cerberus and focus on the Reapers. My thoughts exactly. Hack it out. Nice. Priority Cerberus headquarters is where we're headed next. Uh, the Illusion Men's headquarters have been located and the Alliance is prepared to attack to recover the Prothean VA that holds the key to the Catalyst. Once the attack is launched, the Alliance will be fully committed to the final fight against the Reapers. Assault the base when ready. I think that's the final fight, dude. Once the attack is launched, the Alliance is fully committed to the final fight against the Reapers. So... The last thing we have to do is Citadel Shore leave before final fight. So, it's you for retrofits, and the crew is on shore leave. Bring the Normandy to the Citadel and visit Admiral Anderson's apartment. So, I think that's what we'll be doing next before Cerberus Headquarters. And with that one, guys, we will be bringing this episode of Mass Effect 3 to a close. Thank you so much for watching uh, this episode. It's, uh, I think the journey is coming close to an end. It has been an absolutely incredible ride so far. This is certainly uh, one of the one of the greatest experiences that I've had in an RPG, uh, especially as a series, but uh, this game in particular is just really something else, and I'm having such a great time, and I can't wait to see uh, what's going to be coming up in, uh, in the next episode or two. We'll see how we go. But guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.